Okay, so yesterday we talked about what a personal narrative was. We read a couple stories and answered a few questions over them um, based on what makes a personal narrative uh, a personal narrative. Okay, so what were some characteristics of a personal narrative? No, first, what is a personal narrative? When you're writing a personal narrative, what do you write about? You guys remember from yesterday? When you're writing a personal narrative, what do you write about? Oh. Thomas. Yourself. Yourself. When you're writing a per it's personal, so it's about you. Okay? Um, what do you, let's see, you write about yourself, you write about something that happened and how you... felt about the situation, how you felt about what happened, okay? So a personal narrative is about you. You're writing about yourself and how you felt in that situation, okay? So we got to the pre-write, okay? We're gonna learn how to write a personal narrative and we're actually going to write a personal narrative, okay? It takes several steps and we'll do it over the next week or so, all right? So pre-write is your first step. First, you have to choose a topic. So you have to decide, to decide what am I writing about? You could write about one of your fishing trips. Yeah, exactly. You could write about one of your fishing trips. So you brainstorm. You create a list of people who are important to you. Um, and then choose one person to write about. That's our topic for this personal narrative. You're writing about someone important to you, what you've done with them. So like your fishing trip, who did you go with? My dad. Your dad. So you would write about your dad and the fishing trip, okay? More than one. Oh, perfect, well then you can write everybody. Okay, you explore ideas. You list what you remember about being with this person. So when you're with your dad and those other people, you remember about fishing and the fishing trip, then you'll include details about that fishing trip. And my brother. And, and your brother. my dad's friend, EJ. Okay, so this is my list. This is just an example, okay? I wrote about, or I made a list of people who are important to me what I've done with them, that sort of thing, and this is what I came up with, okay? I explored my ideas by making a list. Um, my Aunt Jane is who I was gonna write about, okay? I put Aunt Jane is fun, lets me try new things. She taught me how to swim, and she let me feed baby Alex. And then Alex spit out the food. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I remember about Aunt Jane and these um, experiences. So today, you guys are gonna create a list of ideas, okay? So I'll give you a piece of paper. You're going to come up with someone that you wanna write about, and then you're gonna um, write experiences you've had with those people underneath that list, okay? Yes, Jenna? Can I write about my horse? Sure. Yes. And experiences with your horse, that's fine. Okay. okay. If you have enough um, experiences and things you've done with your dog and events that happened, if you can line something out in an order of events, like this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened, okay? You can write about an animal, okay? So, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm.